Today we're going to check out this Cobalt air compressor. Alright, instructions. Crush the instructions. There it goes. Throw the box away. There you go. Take the box. Man, this came out of the box pretty much simple and ready to go. I really thought I'd have to put something together. Our air compressor that we've got is eight or ten years old. It's an old boss stitch that we got with a nail gun combo years ago. Um, and it basically kind of kicked the bucket on us. It still kind of runs, but it's leaking air real bad everywhere. And it just so it just kind of runs constantly. So I will be able to kind of compare the difference between the sound of this. Um, and the sound of like a pancake air compressor. I've never had one of these. I've had my eye on this style of air compressor for a while and was honestly looking at the ones from Harbor Freight, but we got a, a gift card to Lowe's and we decided to go ahead and pick this up because honestly it covered all, most of the cost of it. We wanted something that was a little more portable because uh, we're not completely battery powered on our nail guns. We still need to be able to drag this around. And so a lot of times I have the boys put the pancake air compressor on like a little furniture dolly and they wheel it in wherever we need it. So this is gonna be nice that it's got the wheels on it and it's kind of got its own little dolly. So I like that. I also like these handles. Looks like they're gonna raise up. Total height about 38 inches it looks like. That's what that opens up to. Which again is gonna be nice to be able to do that. And then when it's down, Looks like it's about 25. The whole thing, I mean, just when you look at the depth of this thing, um, you're looking at, man, maybe 16, 17 inches deep. Uh, one side of the tire to the other, 18. These wheels are a rubber. I was afraid they might be plastic, and then I was going to be like, that's a thumbs down. But no, they're rubber, and so that's good. I guess I will read the instructions, even though I threw them down a minute ago. I kind of think you're supposed to let these run for a little while. That's a part of the maybe the break-in process or something. So I'm going to check on that. It says on the box that it is 80% quieter. I don't really know what that means exactly. Because uh, I kind of think this is maybe around 60 decibels is what this is supposed to be. <coughs> on a daily basis, drain the tank. I'm sure I'll do that. It has a three-year limited warranty. It doesn't really say anything about letting it run. For a while. This is your regulator knob here on the top. There's your connection point. Big giant power switch. I like that. That other one on my old one was kind of hard to get to. Drain valve here on the bottom. Doesn't have any air in it. That's amazing. Like, that is crazy how quiet that is. Not gonna lie, it scared me a little bit. That is how loud this thing is. Okay? Now, this is a traditional pancake air compressor. In the editing, I'm gonna try to not adjust, uh, compress these audios so that you kind of have a true sound comparison. For comparison, there's that, there's this. I'm draining the tank so that we could run a test just to see. I'm curious to see how long it takes to pressure up. Okay, tank is completely empty. I'm gonna start a stopwatch. So while this is airing up to pressure, if you're getting value from this, do us a favor and hit the like button. And uh, also, consider subscribing. It would really help us out and we would really appreciate it. Right at two and a half minutes to fill this up. 4.3 gallon, 150 PSI. 
So, I mean, it does take a little bit of time, but it's so quiet, it don't really matter, in my opinion. Um, if you're in a garage, a residential area, a place where uh, maybe your neighbors are close by, I would say something like this is gonna be a great buy. It's gonna be something to think about. Keep in mind, um, these are, this is not the only thing out there. There's tons, I mean, California Air makes them, Harbor Freight makes them. Uh, there's several different companies, but overall, I'm happy with this. The only thing I don't like is that this little locking mechanism and all this stuff is like a hard plastic kind of poly stuff. I hate it when companies do that and they everything else feels good and they cheap out on something like this. In my opinion, just, just make it metal and go on. I, I know that it comes down to price, but at the same time, uh, it would just be a little bit better. I'm excited to use it. We're remodeling our house, and so one of the biggest things that this is gonna be handy for us is just taking it into the house because we do that a lot as it is. Take it in, take one of these small air hoses like this, hook up the, uh, the nail guns to it. I generally run a 18 or a 15 gauge nail gun, um, so I'm not running a frame and nailer or anything like that with it. This is gonna be excellent. We have a ton of floor trim and door trim that we've gotta start doing before too long, so this is gonna be handy for that. Uh, if you got any questions, leave them in the comments below. Other than that, you guys have a great week.